first of all, uh, congratulations to you and the entire group. Uh, this is really exciting, and I guess they couldn't be here tonight. You're, you're the only one here. Yeah, uh, uh, all the sketches on the show are filmed remote, so uh, today those guys are off in Jersey filming one of the various sketches that will be seen over the season. Yeah, well, this is really exciting. Yeah, it's you, awesome. You know, you guys, uh, it's, a very, uh, it's a very funny show, and, and you guys do great stuff. I, I've seen you perform uh, on oh, stage. Thank you. You guys do a great job. What's the group dynamic like? Do well, you guys... You know what, actually, if... Uh, you don't mind? I'd rather use this time to talk about something else. Uh, is that all right? <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, no. It is. I mean, I thought you'd want to, you know, plug your show, but it's it's your time, so talk about whatever you want. You well, know? actually, I, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, a kind of prejudice that never gets dealt with in this country. I'm talking, of course, about prejudice against astronauts. If the good Lord, if the good Lord had intended for man to walk on the moon, then we would have been born with cement feet. <sighs> All right, look, I'm, I'm sorry that happened, Matt. Yeah, it's no. okay. Okay. It's okay. So are, are, are these the kind of issues that, that you're going to be dealing with uh, on your sketch yes, show? Yes, actually it is. Uh, the My third episode, we're going to... My community does not need astronauts to find gravity in front of our children. <sighs> yeah. You know, I... It's weird. I had no idea that, that this was such a touchy subject. Oh, it people. is. And actually, Comedy Central wasn't going to air the episode. astro Nazis. Driving their moon buggies through our neighborhood all times and night. Playing that theme to 2001 really loud on their Cosmo blasters. Hey. Right. Hey, look, you know, this is not Jerry Springer, okay? Yeah. You know, I know that you, that you people feel strongly about this, but maybe you can discuss it amongst yourselves after the show, okay? Yeah. Now, actually, Conan, this is fine, because I had a pretty good idea something like this might happen. The only way to confront these ignorant stereotypes is to introduce these people to a real live American astronaut, if you don't mind. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Mike Birchwood, American hero. American Me! hero. Yeah. Me! Me! Watch out! Watch out! You're trying to stick an American flag in you! That's not all he'll try to stick in you! Okay, look. Just because I've spent some time outside the Earth's gravitational pull doesn't mean that I've changed, that I'm different than you. They can't eat normal food and they're addicted to Tang. That's not true. I drink Tang because I like the taste. You like the taste of recycled urine. That is completely insane. Astronauts yeah, eat breakfast upside down. I have, I have only eaten breakfast upside down two or three times since I got back from my last mission. They're covered in astro germs, folks. Just last year, an astronaut moved into our neighborhood, and simultaneously, all the leaves started dying and falling off our oak trees. Let me ask you a, let me ask you a question, sir. Was that month October? September, October. Yeah. It's called fall. It happens every year. Now sit down. Mike Birchwood? Mike, please. Mike Birchwood is a man like, like you and I, a man who'd like nothing more than to settle down, meet a nice girl, raise a family. Uh, the problem is most women are afraid to touch me. They think I'm radioactive. That's right, ladies. He'd make you infertile on account his sperms from another time continue on. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I will not fornicate with you with your juicy astronaut lips and your firm astronaut buttocks. <laughs> I think there are several issues going on here. I would gladly trade all of my walks on the moon for the simple caress of a woman. I will not touch your bottom. Stop begging me. Who's begging you? We don't need no moon cheese babies. <laughs> what the hell is a moon cheese baby? Exactly. I don't well, know. I, I think he's probably referring to how the moon's supposed to be made of cheese, but I... I yeah, but still, how would know, the baby I, end up being made out of cheese? Yeah, you tell us! Oh, oh come please, on. please. Ignorant people make giant leaps, sir. That's all that's going on. I'll tell you what. What would it take for you two to finally believe that this astronaut is just a human being like all of us? I'll tell you what, Mr. Funny Guy. If, what? If he's a real American human, then he'll eat this here American cheeseburger with everything on it. Yeah. Oh, come on. Please. Please, folks. Please. Yeah. E eating that cheeseburger will prove he's not addicted to Tang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, of course, your stomach serves as an incubator for an alien fetus. Or your stomach's been replaced with a computer grid. Or it's got one of 
turned the inverter Everybody, to Everybody, eat the cheeseburger Astro Boy! Eat, eat the, the cheeseburger Astro Boy! Hey, hey folks, I came on this show and did things! I'm sorry, Colin, stop, stop it! Stop that! Stop it! Eat the please! Folks, please stop this! This is the way you run your show? Stop it! Enough! Give me that cheeseburger. If you're trying to incite a riot, I suggest next time you think of a simpler chant. <laughs> Pickles to me. Mike, I apologize, but would you indulge these two buffoons? And would you eat a cheeseburger? Fine. I'll just need a blender. <laughs> what? Why would you need a blender? It was just uh, a humor joke. You mean joke? Well, I guess he is a real American, huh? Protected by the Constitution of the United States. Yeah. To live his life freely, huh? What the hell? We all feel a little He's stupid. He's stepping over my cheeseburger! Hey, Mike. <laughs> Mike, chew your food. What Mike. The hell? Mike. What's going on? Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell? <laughs> Become one of them! No! No! With the gun! With the gun! No! Oh God! I make shoot me! Oh God! Shoot me! Shoot! Oh. Everybody run! God bless you, redneck! I can't believe I was shot right before our sketch show, Upright Citizens Brigade, premieres next Wednesday, August 19th, 10.30 is Eastern Time, on Comedy Central right after South Park. Oh, God. We also have a website, www.uprightcitizensbrigade.com. And we sell t-shirts. They're only 10 bucks. I'm dying, quietly. Andy, oh. Take a break, everybody. When we come back, the Upright Citizens Brigade uh, will be here to say goodnight.